Government increased constituency development fund CDF allocation for each constituency from 1.8 million kwacha to 25.7 million kwacha for 2022 and for this year 2023 the CDF allocation was increased to 28.3 million kwacha with the aim of ensuring that development is propelled at community level according to the 2022 CDF guidelines under the community empowerment component eligible applicants can qualify for a one-off grant of up to a maximum of 40,000 kwacha but for many cooperatives like those in Mukushi are yet to benefit from the government's empowerment grants one such cooperative is in Dalumba Women's Cooperative while the cooperative treasurer Prasha Sumbwa explains that from the time the cooperative submitted the application in 2022 for empowerment grants their application has not been fruitful and no feedback has been given on the status of the application Musonda Simkonda is the chairperson of a youth club called Show Your Talent, who has also narrated that those interested to approve and disperse CDF grants have not been given information on what could have made some applications not to be approved. We are pride for CDF, yes, of course. But the Tuasa and Gako Anse Yonse and the Pushko for Tuaru Janya Pagota pride. But in the Batu, we were still to say, No, guys, it's in Gerogovati, uh, you see, dear, we were drained in Angusha much tap pride, we were drained in a Pukuko mistake here. Instead of keeping quiet, information is very important. Kwesheko Women's Cooperative Chairperson Catherine Chaya has also stressed the importance of ensuring access to information on CDF grants. Marinjire Balanda, Gabalanda, Epchefiania, Cocolanda, and Davantu, if you are me ponto. Nishba, Shiba, not to Ali Bulisha Padia, Bala Conca, Kibuino, Buno, Nakambi, Barasha, Cocolembesha, Cuconca, Sobaveva. Responding to the concerns raised, Mukushi North Constituency Development Fund CDF Committee Chairperson Dr. Amy Kingdom says the committee has been giving feedback on the status of the applications through the World Development Committee leaders. Uh, so basically, if you look at the CDF guidelines, um, the CDF committee communicates with the ward development committees about the status of each application. Uh, so yeah, basically individuals or entities who make applications should communicate with their WDCs if they want feedback. Meanwhile, Musaka Mbawa Development Committee Chairperson Elijah Lembani has also explained what his committee is doing to ensure applicants have access to information regarding the status of their application. They, they call us at the they, they call us to, to, the, to tell us why this I call the cooperative that have been being given, explain to them. The desire of cooperative members in Mukushi district is to see office bearers interested to allocate and disperse CDF ensure easy access to information regarding the funds to enable more applicants to benefit. Reporting for Alliance for Community Action, Ask ATI Project in Mukushi. My name is Mirina Mbela.